Hello and welcome to another Sam's Tangle Web. I'm Sam. You know what? Hit that like, hit that subscribe, put a little ding on that bell because you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna see any future videos I put out. And I got some great, great comics to show you because the last few days have been amazing. Let me tell you. All right. Uh, first up, I'll just show new comics I got that were in my box for past few, and I got some that weren't in my box, uh, but they're new. Okay, you got the uh, main Spider-Man number twenty H U with Vulture. Can't go wrong with that. You know, this is uh, Nick Spencer knocking it out of the park. This is awesome stuff. If you're not getting the main Spider-Man, I don't know what to tell you. Alright. Then, you know, I Daredevil, you know, I saw this I saw this cover, I'm like, I gotta get it. I gotta pick that up. Anytime Daredevil and Punisher collide, it's it's a recipe for something. Uh this is really good. You got some uh, Chip Zark Zadarsky and uh yeah, uh, I, haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even read this yet, but I know it's going to be good. I've heard great stuff. So. Alright, I got Guardians of the Galaxy number 4. Now, I, I have been reading up to this point, and boy, boy, Donny Cates is not going to have a part. Uh, Jeff Shaw, you know, art. Uh, yeah, this is uh, awesome. Awesome storyline going on. Thanos is supposedly dead. And, uh, everybody is trying to figure out what to do next. So. Then, you know, I've been seeing people talking about this. Uh, you know, Bueller even talked about the, you know, the battle lines. I had to get the Punisher one. You know, that was just, I saw that. I saw that on the shelf. And like that that's just too beautiful to not to not get. And you know, that's awesome right there. Punisher. This is Punisher number number eleven, I think. So yeah. And they didn't have the they didn't have the regular cover for this one, but they had the variant to Savage Avengers number one. And you know you got Conan here. You got Wolverine. I don't know why Thor is on the cover. He, he's not even in the book. So uh, you know, hey, this is good stuff here. Uh, Mike Diodato Jr. This is going to be his last, uh, uh, possibly his last of his Marvel stuff. Uh, he's going. I think he's going to DC or something. I don't know. So. But, uh, yeah, I am on this for at least as long as he's doing the art, so. Then, you know, I had to get these, uh, Marvel Greatest Creators. Marvel's Greatest Creators. This is the Steve Englehart Avengers, uh, oh, this is Avengers, uh, Avengers, like, like one... I say it's 120 something. No, yeah, got I actually got two of those. <laughs> I got two of those. I I didn't know that I that I had it in my box. And, so. and guess what? They got a Marvel Marvel's greatest creators of uh, Incredible Hulk uh, 318: The Wedding of Rick Jones and Marla, and I got two of those. So, in the future, you know, when I hit 500, I might be, might be getting rid of some extra books. And I, I got some, I got some extra books this time. Then I picked up a True Believers Star Wars Darth Maul. Uh, man, glare on that. Okay. So, yeah, Star Wars Darth Maul. Darth Maul uh, you can't, 
keep a bad Sith down. That's how. There you go. And then, just for fun and giggles, <laughs> I got a Star Wars AWOKS. Uh, you know, uh, I figured might as well, you know, it's true believers and Star Wars and it's kind of cute. So, yeah. Now, I gotta say something here. Uh, some people were very nice uh, this weekend. And uh, I, I was on uh, with uh, Bueller on uh, Jester Rican's, uh, uh on his uh, live stream uh, Saturday. And uh, Steve Whiting was on there. And he sent me some books. And, um, yeah, I, I'm totally flabbergasted and in shock still over, uh, definitely over one of these books. Uh, I love all of the books he sent me, but one of them is just, like, over the top. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. So, so, okay. He sent me four books. And he sent me thing number six, because I'm trying to complete my, uh, things. <laughs> my things. My actual, uh, the thing, uh, comic book series. This is from the first series. Uh, there's a thing number eight. I think I already got this one, but I got an extra one now, so... Maybe I'll be giving, giving one away in a future episode, a future uh, subscriber contest or something. Uh, then he sent me a thing number one, which is amazing. Uh, I'm, I love, love, love this uh, series. This is the uh, second thing series. It's a Dan Slot written series. This has art. This has art by Andrew. Devato, and uh, I know Andrea Devato was only on for the first four or five issues, and then they had somebody else, and the series, yeah, the art kind of took a nosedive, but uh, Dan Slott really did a really great job on this. Uh, this is amazing. That's why I, I am enjoying his run on the Fantastic Four. Uh, and then, uh, then I got this, I got this comic book. Uh, this is one that I'm like, man, I will never gonna, I'm never gonna find that in the wild, uh, for a decent, decent deal. And, uh, lo and behold, Steve came through. Steve, if you're watching, man, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, this is Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number eight. First black costume Spider Man. Uh, now I'm now I'm on the hunt for the rest of these uh, black costume first first black costumes and the other Spider Man titles and stuff. Uh, you know, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but this is amazing. Uh, the community is awesome, and I just want to say thank you to Steve. This is really cool, man. All right, now my buddy Bueller, not to be outdone, he's always he's always looking out for me. Uh, he was going through his collection of comic books. In fact, I think this is this might be from his personal collection. I think this looks like it. <laughs> it's a little beat up, but this is like the oldest X-Men comic I got. So this is very, very cool. This is Uncanny X-Men 128. Uh, this is uh, Final Battle against Protus. Uh, you got your awesome Cyclops here. And amazing. This is John Byrne. Oh, man. This is excellent. I, I was just in awe that he 
It's beat up. It's a little beat up. I don't know if you can tell. But it's... Oh, man, this is... You know, this is amazing to have this. So, that's awesome. And then, I'm trying to catch up on my current X-Men stuff. And, uh, I only had issue one, which was a variant cover. And then I had issue 12. <laughs> so I, was, I had a gap there. Bueller decides to uh, fill in the gap a bit there. So we got issue 2, issue 3, issue 3, issue 4, issue 5, issue 6, Issue 7, Issue 8, Issue 9, <laughs> Issue 10, and don't have Issue 11, I think that's a double size uh, issue, and I got Issue 12, but he gave me Issue 13, uh, and that's awesome. Now I got a good good chunk of uh, X Men there to to read and stuff. That's amazing, amazing, amazing. So, oh man, we're moving right along. No oh, man, this is gonna be a long video. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, um, let's get to the free comic book day stuff. All right, um, yeah, free comic book day. Went to two shops. And, uh, got me some good books, man. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I, you know, usually on free comic book day, you know, I'm picking up stuff I don't normally get. I'm just checking stuff out, checking out what, you know, what's going on in the comic book world that's not Marvel. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I've got some Marvel, of course, you know, there's a, is the Avengers they had a book out and Spider-Man and uh, there's a bunch of other stuff here I'll show you so I got Avengers the Avengers free comic book day book I actually got two of them because I went to the other shop and he held, held one of these books for me so yeah <laughs> and I got the free comic book day Spider-Man one, which is excellent. Uh, yeah, this is very good. Spider-Man and Peter Parker and Miles, you know. Um, this is the kickoff to the new, the summer, uh, Carnage. I think they're calling it Absolute Carnage. Kickoff to that story yeah, that's happening. I think it starts in July? Or something. It's after War of the Realms. So, but I got two of those. <laughs> I got two of those. So I might be giving, giving one of those away eventually. Um, and I stepped out and got me a Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, and Firefly. Free comic book day book. Yeah, got that. Then I got Turtles. Kind of like the turtles, you know. I remember, remember watching the turtles cartoon, watching the movies. You know, nothing wrong with some turtles. Uh, picked up this. I don't even know what company this is, but this is Lady Mechanica, Mechanica, and this is uh, by Joe Benitez. But Joe Benitez's Lady Meneca. So, yeah. Um, then I got Bob's Burgers. As uh, Bueller was with me, and he's like, pick that up, pick that up. Then I got the yeah, free previews for Star Wars. I don't, I, I guess they're, you know, it's showing different. Star Wars books and stuff. And I got the Star Wars Adventures free comic book day book. So, um, 
Then I got uh, Deadly Class Killer Set. Uh, this is a Rick, Rick Remender book. So it's by Image. Uh, then I got a Stranger Things. So that's pretty cool. And uh, my comic book shop, <laughs> they had some older uh, free comic book day from a few years ago. And I picked up this all new, all different Avengers. This is from 2015. So, yeah. So that was the free comic book day. Okay. Alright, let me go over here, get off camera, I'm over here, I know you guys are waiting, I got back issues, I know, oh my gosh, I know this, this video is going to be long, <laughs> I got a lot of books I'm showing off, I know, um, so let's just get into it, uh, Amazing Scarlet Spider, number two. Look at that, pinks, you got pinks in there, there's Scarlet Spider, there's the, the, Phil Yurk, Philip Yurk, I don't, or, yeah, something, he was the new Green Goblin at the time, who was trying to be a good guy, yeah, that, that didn't turn out so well, alright, then I, I got a, Steve Rogers, Captain America, number seven, when he was, uh, kind of Hydra cat there. He's got the Hydra in his eyes. And this was the beginning of the Hail Hydra uh, storyline. So. And I got a Defenders number 31. This is from 1976, I believe. 25 Center. It's a really amazing shape, too, for it. Um, really happy about that that's really nice I like seeing Hulk looking good this is Sal Basima art everybody this is amazing all right then I got this incredible Hulk 346 uh, yeah this is a uh, gray Hulk and this is uh, at the very end of Todd McFarland's run and uh, we got some Eric Larson teaming up with Todd McFarlane on this cover. I believe Eric Larson also does the, the inside as well. So. Uh, we got some uh, Marvel team up. 44 with Spider-Man and Moondragon and then you got Doctor Doom in here. You got Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Uh, yeah, this is this is, I'm very happy to have that in my collection. I uh, need to go back and get the rest of this storyline in Marvel Team Up. Uh, so, yeah, I think I might, this might be a run I might start getting here, you know, more of, so. And I'm like, I saw this, and then I had to go back and get it, because I'm like, I can't just leave that there. The final issue of Hands of Shang-Chi the Master of Kung Fu and uh, he's you know this was the final issue and uh, yeah you just have to read the story it's uh, crazy <laughs> uh, definitely not some of the best art but uh, pretty cool ending for this character but he, he does come back. We all know that. He's going to have a movie or something. I don't know. So, this is a good book to have. Don't I don't see this book very often. So, it's very cool. Then I got a Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number one. This is by Chip Zdarsky and Adam Kubert. Uh, this is from... A few years, a couple years ago or so. Yeah, so very happy to have that. Uh, you know, it took me a while to get it, but I, but I got it. So it's very cool. 
then you know I'm a big fan of some obscure characters that maybe so not so many people like and so I went with Rom Space Knight number 31 this has Rom going up against the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants and you got look look at that that's Rogue it's Rogue yep Rom is going against the Brotherhood you got Blob you got Destiny yeah, Mystique is right over here. Uh, Avalanche. Yeah. Oh, Pyro. Pyro's <laughs> doing a little fire thing back there. Yeah, it's, again, Sal Basima. I uh, can't, can't say no to Sal Basima. Uh, anytime I see Sal Basima. Our Uncle Hulk. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. Rom. I'm there. So. And then, of course, I had to get the, the second part to that ROM storyline and I got 32 of ROM Space Knight and a little known fact about this about this book uh, really really this book should uh, should have a little bit more value than it does because uh, at one point in this book you know you know before this book uh, Rogue was Rogue was an evil mutant and she acted evil and stuff like that but she went to lay, she planted a kiss, <laughs> a kiss on, on Rom, and she found out he was a pure, he was like a decent, a decent soul, and sat trapped inside this, uh, this cyborg, uh, suit, and this is when Rogue actually turns good, so... Everybody really should be picking this up. I don't know why why this book is so underrated. Rom is underrated. But, you know, that's just me. <laughs> so. Wow, we are going way overboard here. Okay. <laughs> Spider-Man. The Parker years. Uh, you know, this is a great cover. The co the inside, though, is not, not that great. But the story's okay. It's about, you know, Peter Parker accepting... Everything that has been through, and he was thinking he was possibly a clone at the time. It was that whole clone mess. But this is a great, this is a great book. Still, it goes over Spider-Man's history and stuff. It's really cool. And I got a this timely comics Moon Girl. And Devil Dinosaur. Now that this is Marvel, even though it says Timely Comics, this is Marvel. Uh, this is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. One through three, even though it says one, it's it has one through three of that series in here, and it's very cool. Because uh, I, I I read a little bit here and there, you know. Devil Dinosaur is pretty cool. He's a dinosaur, as we can tell. And she's a very smart, smart little girl. And she befriends Devil Dinosaur. And they have adventures. Okay. Wow, we are going time. Okay. We got the Kenny X-Men 188. I saw that for, you know, like a, like a buck. And I'm like... Oh heck no! That's coming home with me. A buck, cause it's got it's Chris Claremont, John Romita Jr. Oh man, come on, that's good stuff. That's not this for a buck. Uh, Kenny X Men, two forty seven. Uh, this is Mark Silvestri art, and uh, cannot go wrong with that. This is awesome, awesome stuff. So. Then I saw this for a book, and I'm like, what? Uncanny X-Men 281, the beginning, the, uh, a new team is born, you know, with Colossus, Marvel Girl, Storm, and I believe Iceman's on the team and stuff. Yeah, it, Wallace Potashio art, uh, John, I, I want to say John Byrne writing, I believe. So, and last but certainly not least, I couldn't believe 
that this was for 50 cents. Uh, Web of Spider-Man, number five. Uh, like I said, this has been a crazy, crazy few days. And as you can tell, my goodness, this is a long video. And if, you've, and if you're here watching the whole thing, thank you. I want to say thank you. You are much appreciated. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are great. Hit that hit that like button. Don't hit the thumbs down. Hit the like. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. You know. Hit that bell. You want to know. Because sometimes. Maybe in the future here. You might. Miss a video. And be like. Hey what happened? Because I might do a second video. Uh, during a week. You never know. You never know what. What I'm going to do. So you want to make sure you're. In the know. And you're ready to go. So anyways. With that being said. Thanks for stopping by Sam Stable Web. I'm Sam, and you all have a great and wonderful rest of your week. Peace out.